expression here promotes um, safety for everyone, regardless of our sex, regardless of our gender identity and sexual orientation. I believe, ladies and gentlemen, the men in the Congress is still not pro um, in this kind of bill. But I think it's now the time for us to be open about this kind of bill. Because this, not, this does not only um, protect the LGBT, it protects everyone. Because everyone has sexual orientation, gender identity, and expression. And Geraldine Roman is one of the um, one of the persons that proposed the bill. And I think that it is a very progressive move that the Philippines is actually trying to learn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that we find it in our hearts, we find it in our minds to accept the such a bill. Because as a country, as a progressive country, it is now time to protect our logic. Thank you. Very well said, candidate number one. So candidate number nine, uh, number one, you may ask your question to candidate number two. Actually, this is a very difficult question, and it is kind of competition where we are asking each other questions. I think this is very, very much news. So how do you convince an atheist that God is a woman? Well, thank you for that very wonderful question. Um, as a normal citizen of this community, and as a son of a, um, as a, as a, son of a Catholic, my mom always taught me about God, and I always believe about God. And of course, I always believe in the Bible, that God is for real. And for me, as a member of the LGBT community, I have a lot of trials. I, had a, I, had a, I have a lot of difficulties. But then again, I always pray to God that, that He should hide me in all ways. So definitely, how should I convince that God is a woman? Definitely, God is a woman because God has a heart of a woman. Heart, God will always help us in every way. Just always, just always believe in yourself and always pray to God. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, candidate number one and two. You may now receive backstage for your next exposure.